Melody Punk live from a safe bunker. Why? You will see in this episode of Words and Art Game number 8. What's the Words and Art Game? You guys leave words in the comments below and I'll do an edit out of them and then a video about it. So please subscribe and leave some words in the comments below. If you haven't seen episode 5 and 7 of the Words and Art game, you should catch up now with the story. Just follow the links in the description below. See you in a sec. Here we go with this week's words. Killer Kaiju Mega Monster! Bifrost. Junker. Junkers are Japanese undercover neurokinetic elimination rangers from the game Snatcher. I guess I have to repurpose them, give them a new purpose in life in this game. Lenticular Synchrotron This is a particular type of a circular particle accelerator. Phaneron This term was introduced by Charles Pierce and it is so to say the subjective perception of reality in our minds present at all time. The Bureau of Time and Imaginal Travels. Nitrochrome. So last episode we suspected the Martin side rock thingy to be some kind of cyber code bomb that would rewrite all code on earth so Sirius con could control the earth. But we were so wrong. And therefore, unprepared for what was coming. When the countdown ended, the rock broke apart and first there was a big silence. Then came that sound. And then the only thing you could hear were the screams of those who were doomed first. The rock was actually an egg. And out came a huge kaiju killer maggot monster. Right now it is roaming around the city and destroying everything and eating everyone. This shot was taken by a citizen right before she was devoured. Every victim makes it grow bigger and stronger. But who is that person standing there? The Pleiadians say it might be Sirius the Seventh. Sai Sai, how is the situation out there now? Yo, Cyber City Punk, what's up? It's Sai Sai. The monster, it's a huge, ugly, maggot thing. And the best cooks in town, they already announced they would make a burger out of it once it's dead. What a pity, there is only one cook left and I really hope he makes it cause the monster looks yummy. People are being evacuated and they are running away screaming, panicking and those who are left behind, they just rob the stores and there is a really cool black market thing going on. I got a flying car for really cheap and you should check it out too. Oh, the earth is trembling, I guess the big yummy burger is coming, I'll better jump into my car and I wish the best luck to you. Hmm, I could use a new android pool boy from the market. Oh, well, yeah, so let's see what the Bureau of Time and Dimensional Travels found out. They are the leading force in this case and gather all information. Seems that the onomatopoeia that came out of the interdimensional communicator potato were finally deciphered. Let's see what they say. The only way our powerful baby can hatch is to travel back to when the people in the north believed strongest. That's when the fire on the Bifras, the bridge between Earth and Heaven, was at its climax of power. Put the egg inside the fire for just 10 seconds and bring it back, plant the seed, and we will defeat our enemies. Seems like Sirius was talking with some of his allies. The Pleiadians and Detective Grayson also found an interesting link between the victims of Sirius. 
the victim from 2086 at the pizza restaurant on the moon was General Kargola from the Mars. Next was Professor Dr. Sochan from the Pleiadian star system murdered at the same spot. And finally, Dr. Phanos from Earth led his life in VR cyberspace. So what did they have in common? They were all working on the same project, Project Synchroblast. Project Synchroblast is suspected to be a weapon and to work with synchrotron and lenticular technology. It might be the key to defeat the fat maggot. But how can we build it if almost all scientists working on the case are dead? You heard right, almost all. There is one scientist missing and we have to find him. The Pleiadians have a special power to find living beings by their phaneron. 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 The problem is the scientist changed its phaneron completely into digital perception. So we only know he is in VR somewhere. Well, why can't you just locate Sirius, you think? Yeah, it would be too easy, wouldn't it? He's a smart ass psychopath. This ball made out of nitrochrome was found besides the victim at the Murder Moon Pizza Plaza. He probably knows it blocks the Pleiadians from diving into his head. That said, it creeps me actually out that they can dive into my head. I better get some nitrochrome. You bit me, I already got it on my head. So the question now is, how can we find the missing scientists in VR? And will the Junker Special Forces be able to defeat the fat maggot once Synchro Blast is built? I can't wait to read your words and ideas for the next game. Just leave them in the comments below and subscribe to see how the story goes on. Thanks for watching this episode! 